Hello, I'm Sylvia Mann. Welcome to Christ Church here in Chorley Wood for today's Advent Reflection. It's about Abraham, the first of the patriarchs in the Old Testament. The others were Isaac, Moses and David. All these men were obedient to God, had spiritual strength and depth. But like us, they often succumbed to common human weaknesses and needs. The story of Abraham can be found in Genesis chapters 12 to 25, but it crops up again in the New Testament in chapter 11 of Hebrews, often referred to as the great chapter of faith and well worth a read. First, we go back thousands of years to the Bronze Age and find Abram, as he was then called, settled with his family in Ur. The location of Ur was in modern day Iraq. At that time, many of the people worshipped different gods, but Abram worshipped our God the God of his ancestor, Noah. When God called him to up sticks and move with his family and everything else to an unknown destination, which we know was the land of Canaan, he obeyed. He also obeyed when God instructed him to sacrifice Isaac his only and much loved son, promised by God, even though Sarah, Abram's wife, was well past childbearing years. You may recall that at the last moment, God provides a ram caught in a nearby thicket for the sacrifice instead. God's promise that from Abram in spite of his age, would come descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore was also fulfilled. God changed his name from Abram to Abraham, which means father of the people, and a new nation was established under God. It's from verse 1 of chapter 11 of Hebrews that I draw on one of my cornerstone Bible verses to share with you today. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Abraham had no pre-knowledge of God's plans for him or their outcomes. And yet he responded in faith. He trusted completely in God and was obedient. As we return from the Bronze Age to our own challenging times, how much we need to pray to God for our hope and trust in him to be built up and maintained. For us to be obedient to him even though we do not know the way ahead. In this Advent season, as we look forward to celebrating again the birth of the Christ child, God's only son, and the sacrifice by that son on the cross at Calvary, so that we can be assured of our sins being forgiven and a welcome into our heavenly home. Let's pray that we will focus on what's really important and vital for us all so that we can walk in the light and love of the Christ child. But more importantly, that we can reflect that love in all we do. 
and as we care and go to others, we can bring that love and the story, the good news of Jesus, our friend and our saviour, to those we meet. Let's pray together. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of Abraham. Help us through the strength of your Holy Spirit to keep our hope in you, to trust in you, to be obedient to you and to bring the light and the love of the Christ child and the story of Jesus, your son, to those we meet. Amen. I've chosen Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, for today's hymn. And I hope and pray that you will find both blessing and encouragement in the words and music. Bye for now. <laughs>